Well, as we saw earlier, today marks the start of a new chapter in the Adelaide Oval history book. Rob Kelvin caught up with two of South Australia's greats to look back at their top moments. Cricketing royalty, Ian Chappell. If you, if you can't be happy playing as a batsman at the Adelaide Oval, then you're never going to be happy anywhere. And master curator, Les Burdett. As far as cricket grounds in the world, number one Adelaide for me. Reflecting on Adelaide Oval's 142 year history, starting in 1933 as the body line controversy reached its peak. Captain Bill Woodfall faces last. Tensions ran high among the record crowd. Police prepared for a riot. I can remember Bill O'Reilly telling me that uh, he reckoned if one guy had come over the fence, they all would have come over. In 1982, the late great David Hooks was in fine form, smashing this six under the roof. Les Burdett retrieved the ball. Tony Craft to the umpire, you're back, says, Les, stay up there, you'll probably catch a couple. Hooksy made 100 off just 34 balls, setting a world record for the time. Because that is the most exciting century that you'll ever see in cricket anywhere. At shield level for South Australia, and particularly at the Adelaide Oval, he performed brilliantly. The Ashes series in 2006, a memorable moment that almost wasn't. England came out strong, making 551, with the supposed bland pitch to blame. And all of a sudden, uh, I was the biggest so-and-so in Adelaide. On day five, it started a turn, and Shane Warne weaved his magic. It's amazing how many times we've seen things happen late in the game here at Adelaide and you finish up getting not only a result but a very exciting result. Something we're all hoping for again this test. Rob Kelvin, Nine News.